Hello and welcome to Tech 18. I am Ahmad Adnan. In this video, we are going to discuss about Excel import error in Power Query. Yes, yeah, sometimes it happens. So recently, uh, I also got about this one. So user has imported an Excel file and when they want to replace this with some other thing, it just breaks the thing. So how this can be done? We'll discuss about this in this video. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed it, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. So I am into Power Query editor now and let me add a new Excel file here. Let's go to new source and Excel workbook and here I need to call that Excel file. I just added the Excel file here. So now it just shows up one table on that Excel sheet. Yeah, this is the one and the student A and click on OK here. So that's the Excel sheet name. And if you look at the steps here, this is the source of the Excel file. And this is the navigation. It just taken the item student A, which is a kind of sheet name of this one and the promoted headers it has done automatically and also the change type of this column so that's the cool thing right and now the real challenge is i made a video about how to create and use of this invoke function option in power query right so that's the where it actually creates a problem so if you haven't seen that uh, please go and check out that video also because that will be a helpful part for this one but irrespective of this one even if you are going to use that or not but even though if we are just using a student a here and if you want to analyze student b you can also come directly here and click on student b and commit so now you can see this student b coming from here and if i go to navigation it just creates an error here the key didn't match any row in the table so student a kind sheet table here so here we are given student A and sheet it's not available on the Excel file which is in student B. So the reason is because if you go to this previous step which is source and if you see this one name is student B and here the data table and item name is student B and the kind is the sheet here. So it means this Excel file contains the sheet name as student B and this student a contains the sheet name as student so this is how it will be for each and every student it will generate a file and the name of the sheet also the same of the student name so the similar situation may happen if you are working for a timesheet of an employee so the excel file name is also the same and also the sheet name of that file is also the same so in that case each and every employee will have a different excel file and different excel sheet name so for that what you need to do so in order to avoid that so you can go to navigation here i am still on student a and here after this source you can just select whatever it is there within the curly brackets and just replace this with zero and if i click on commit here nothing changes here nothing breaks here everything is work fine and click on change data type everything is fine here now if i go to source and change from student a to student b here if you see student a here student a here and if I B, it shouldn't be here, shouldn't be here. And if I click on the last step, change type. Now you can see a student B information here. That's it. So now what it actually does is it just lists out all the sheet names available on this Excel file. And it takes the first Excel sheet name. Basically, the one which I use zero here, it means it's just taking the same Excel sheet. I mean the first Excel sheet on that file. That's the important thing. So the leftmost thing, what it is there is the first Excel sheet on that particular file is setting that as the table, as the main table. And then it does all the other stuff, whatever you have done here. So this is how you can able to avoid that error if you are importing an Excel file for multiple student, multiple employee, or in multiple cases or multiple company or anything else. I hope you found this video a helpful one. If you like this video, just click on the big thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. But make sure you turn on the notification on your devices. Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, just post it on the comment section below.
Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.